The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to create a typical transaction using a Sinex MyDocs account. In this video, we'll discuss adding signers, uploading a document, tagging a transaction, and sending a transaction for signing. From your document center, you will select Create New Transaction. You will then enter the name of the signers. Required information is first name, last name, and email address. You can then select which authentication method you would like to use. For this transaction, we'll use knowledge-based authentication, which will ask the signer questions compiled from public and private data. KBA requires social security number and date of birth. However, if you don't know these, you can simply select Ask the Signer. To add another signer, I'll click Add New Signer. Since I'll have myself be the second signer, I'll just click I am the signer. If you want to change the order of the signers, I can click and drag on these icons. When finished, I'll select the Documents tab. Here, I'll select a PDF document to upload. When finished, I'll click the Signatures tab. Here you can properly tag the document with fillable fields. Commonly used fields are initials, text fields, checkboxes, and of course, signatures. When you're finished tagging the document, click the Send tab. Before sending the document out for signing, you can edit the title and email message the signer will receive. You can also change when the document will no longer be available for signing with the Reminders and Expiration Schedule slider. If you do not want the signers to receive reminder emails, check this box. When finished, click Send to send an email to the first signer, notifying them the document is ready to be signed. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, and we'll see you in the next video.